video, we're going to be learning how to reduce the weight of our drone chassis. So there's a couple of ways we can reduce the weight of our drone chassis. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the physical material of our chassis by going on modify and then physical material and we're going to change the physical material from the default which is steel to ABS plastic by selecting the plastic folder and then dragging the ABS plastic onto our drone chassis and you can see it has now changed it to white. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually weigh our drone chassis so by right clicking on our body and then going to properties and I can see the mass is at 7.37 grams at the moment and we're going to reduce that downwards so we're going to press OK and we're going to modify our drone chassis. So the first way we're going to reduce weight is by cutting out material from our mounting. So I'm going to go down to my timeline here. I'm going to take the slider back to our first lesson, which was just after the fillet. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify the mounting that we created. So I'm going to create a new sketch on this plane here and we're going to go to sketch slot center point slot we're going to select the center of our mounting there and go upwards by 4 mil at 90 degrees and I'm going to go out by 3 mil in diameter as well and then we can stop the sketch and I'm just going to extrude that out so I'm going to go to my toolbar and then extrude or you can press E and I'm going to change the direction to symmetric and I'm going to drag outwards making sure it's cutting through both sides of my mounting there and then press OK and then I'm going to go go to the sort of next step. So we're going to go down to my timeline again, move past the sketch where we created our rectangle. And before we move our mounting to the corner of our rectangle, I'm going to just rotate it. So I'm going to go to modify, move copy, and I'm going to select the, the mounting there. So I'm going to select body one. Gonna make sure that the set pivot is in the middle of my mounting there. So I can change that by set pivot there and just selecting the center of my mounting. Once you have once you've got the middle of your mounting, you can press done. And then we're just going to rotate that round by minus 45 degrees and then press OK. And then we're going to just move the slider across one again. So, and then if we move the slider to the end of our timeline there, you can see that it has added them cutouts to each one of our mountings. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce weight on our ducting. So we're going to go back to where we revolved our ducting just before the revolve feature and we're going to go on to the sketch that we created which is sketch number six I believe. What we're going to do is we're going to just change the sketch slightly so we're going to create another rectangle so we can select the rectangle tool on a toolbar there Select the bottom corner, so the bottom right hand corner, and um, we're going to go 0.5 by 3 mil, and then press enter, creating that rectangle. I can then stop the sketch, and I'm going to just move it along one, and I'm going to double click onto the revolve feature there, 
and I'm going to unselect the rectangle we just made and you can see that it has actually taken out that material there. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it that edge off, just make it a little bit smoother. So go modify and fill it. I'm going to select these two edges of our ducting there and just fill it by 0.5, just creating a more smooth edge there. Press OK. And then we can move our slider all the way back to the end of our timeline. And we should see that it has done it to each one of the ductings there. So now if I go right click back onto my body there and go to properties, you should see that we have reduced the mass of our drone chassis by just over a gram there. And there we have a reduced weight chassis.